Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kishore Alapati. I'm a consultant colorectal surgeon at Apollo Health City in Jubilee Hills, Hyderabad. Today I'm here to talk about colon and rectal cancers, it, their symptoms they, they would, the patients would usually present with, and what are the diagnostic criteria, and what are the treatment modalities that are available. For colorectal cancer, the most common symptom that we come across is usually bleeding through bowel habits. So, no matter what age it is, uh, if you have noted persistent bleeding with your motion or you have noted mucus, it's like a slimy material that is coming out along with the motion passage, then that is definitely one of red herring sign uh, to keep in mind. Even with conventional treatment, if you do not notice any significant improvement in your symptoms, then that is the time you really need to see a specialist like a medical gastroenterologist or a colorectal surgeon to be further evaluated in regards to these symptoms. The other telltale signs that we come across for colorectal cancers are unexplained weight loss. Even though you're consuming your routine normal diet, you continue to lose weight or sometimes you'll have a loss of appetite which also adds for the loss of weight. Sometimes you might look pale which means that your blood count has dropped because bleeding signs of colorectal cancers. Unexplained change in bowel habits which can be either severe constipation or a severe diarrhea which means lose motions on a daily basis. Those symptoms definitely warrant an examination by a specialist uh, which would be either a medical gastroenterologist or a colorectal surgeon. If you do uh, have a problem, we would be able to identify it hopefully in its earliest stage. And as you all know, cancer is something when identified at the early stages, you would have a, almost a complete cure and be able to lead a normal life. Typically, when, when we see these patients in our clinic, uh, the routine examination is uh, examination from head to toe. Apart from that, we do a specific examination of the, uh, of the abdomen, which is the stomach in general. We will also include a rectal examination where is a finger is inserted into the anus and identified to see if there is any hemorrhoids or really there is a, a lump or a lesion uh, that can be picked up when we do a rectal examination. After this is done, we usually go for a routine blood, in, uh, blood investigations which would include a blood count and also sometimes we include a stool culture. The specialized investigations that are need to be done is the first one that should be done is a colonoscopy wherein a camera is inserted through the anus and the entire large intestine is examined. We do a colonoscopy, it is used as both diagnostic and a therapeutic manure in some times. When we do the colonoscopy, we will be able to look at the entire large intestine, we would be able to look at the inside of the entire large intestine. If we find anything abnormal at the same time, we would go ahead and biopsy it and take a look at it underneath the microscope. So even if it is infection, we would be able to look at it underneath the microscope and identify what type of infection is it is. If we find a lesion or a mass, uh, then we would be able to biopsy it and we will be able to look at that underneath the microscope and make a diagnosis if it turns out to be a cancer. So therapeutic maneuver in the sense, if there are polyps, and again polyp is something that uh, shows up as a mushroom if you typically look at it, the, the shape of it. And this mushroom over a period of time, which is scientifically proven, is what converts itself to become a cancer. So if we pick it up in the mushroom stage, then we would be able to remove it completely during the colonoscopy itself. Thus, by doing that, we have uh, prevented a potential source of cancer in the future. If we do find a mass which has grown bigger in size compared to a polyp, then we would be able to biopsy it. If it does look like a, a cancerous or a malignant lesion, then we do uh, routine x-ray examinations like a chest x-ray uh, followed by a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis. And if it is specifically for a rectal cancer, then we would definitely do a MRI of the, of the pelvis to appropriately stage the cancer. Now, colon or rectal cancers do grade from stage 1 to stage 4. So, depending on the stage, the treatment is offered. And the staging is more appropriately done either by, the, by a PET CT or an MRI scan. Once after a diagnosis is made, uh, that is when we would offer a treatment. Sometimes you would do a combination of chemotherapy with radiation therapy with surgery. Sometimes straight surgery will be able to take care of the problem. Specif specifically for rectal cancer, we uh, offer what we call robotic surgery. It is a high-end laparoscopic surgery uh, which helps in complete and clear uh, removal of the cancerous tissue because we were able to see these cancer cells under a 3D enhancement so the surgery is much better done uh, compared to a routine conventional open surgery or a routine conventional laparoscopic surgery. The outcomes for robotic surgery for uh, rectal cancer are very good. 
uh, especially in males, uh, the problem of uh, ejaculation has dif uh, significantly come down because we do what we call a nerve sparing technique when a robotic rectal resection is done. Um, the one significant trend we have noticed in the Indian subset of population these days is the younger generation uh, is, has shown more inclination towards developing much more aggressive rectal cancers. So as a matter of fact in our practice even if a young 30 year old gentleman or a female comes into our clinic with complaints of rectal bleeding we do not think twice to perform a colonoscopy in those patients because we have noted rectal cancers in these younger patients that they tend to be more aggressive and so if we pick them up early enough then the treatment would be almost curative. So prevention is better than cure. We would urge everybody to go uh, get a colonoscopy done and based on the colonoscopy identify what the exact problem is and based on the problem we would offer a tailored uh, treatment modality whether it is chemotherapy, radiation therapy, surgery or a combination of all of the, these three elements put together. Thank you.